could you like after this just explain how the criticals work because i'm used to like 5e where it's just like sure. on a crit you roll again or whatever like yeah and you're done <laughs> yeah so different weapons have different critical threat ranges for some are more prone to deliver a critical wound than others. So if your weapon just says times three, times two critical, on a 20, you threaten a critical hit. Okay. You, you threaten a critical hit, it's not confirmed that it's a critical. So then you roll again, and you just have to hit the thing with that second roll, and it oh, confirms wait. that it's a critical hit. I think yeah. 5e, it's just, what, 20, it's a crit every time? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Unless yeah. otherwise you roll, like, stated. Double damage. Yeah. yeah, I think there's like one thing that can make it a 19 also, but if yeah. you then it's a double uh, damage. The thing is, is in 3-5 there are weapons that do a lot more on a critical or you yeah. want to do less damage but your th critical range is way wider isn't a rapier like an 18 to 20 or yeah. something like there are like... three weapons that have an 18 Already? to 20 uh falchion so cool. falchion rapier yeah. and scimitar and then if you do something silly like improved critical or keen on those weapons, it's a right. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, or 20. Which is just Which ridiculous. is your critical range. So you have a 25% yeah. chance of critting. Yeah, <laughs> which is immense. I mean, awesome. like, literally in this game, that's so good. Dual-wielding rapiers as, like, a rogue, the improved crit range is no. bonkers. The funny thing is, is, like, when you can't hit a creature with a 15, but on mm -hmm. a 16, you're going to crit it. Like, every, every time you poke, it's a critical. It's good Would stuff. Would you have to... Would you have to make like specifically a uh, a human for that to gain like bonus feats and stuff like that, or I mean, you just take the feat? But right, I think you yeah. Can optimize it with a human, but it it kind of sounds like if you're gonna make that type of build, if you're gonna make like a a, a double rapier slasher, you just wanna you're gonna wanna kind of go for a feats build starting off, you know, like get everything you can in there. Yeah, you're probably just dipping make it in the. Silly. You're dipping in a fighter or a war blade or something. And then be a scout so that you're just constantly moving and no one can ever catch you. Bonuses, a whirlwind everything. of death. 